Early this morning, officers from Greece's anti-terrorism unit swooped on Golden Dawn in an unprecedented clampdown on the neo-Nazi political party. 17 people have been arrested, including four MPs. One of them is the party leader, Nikos Michalolakos. Another is the Golden Dawn spokesman, Ilias Kassidiaris. It is the first time since Greece's military dictatorship ended here in 1974 that there has been a mass arrest of MPs. Let me just show you the scene on the other side of the road uh, next to the uh, police headquarters here in central Athens, where you can see around 200 supporters of Golden Dawn have gathered, waving flags, chanting party slogans, singing the national anthem. They are very jumpy. There is an extremely difficult atmosphere here, and we have deemed it too unsafe to go and talk to them at this moment. There have been frequent uh, um, stories of cameras being broken and journalists being attacked by the party. I'll show you now the media interest that there is here outside the police headquarters in central Athens. You can see that a ton of journalists have gathered. They are absolutely fascinated uh, by this clampdown on Golden Dawn. Now, uh, the police arrested these 17 people on anti-terror legislation, alleging that the, the, the Golden Dawn is a criminal group. It all comes about two weeks after a left-wing musician and political activist was murdered, stabbed to death outside Athens by a member of Golden Dawn. Now, under the country's constitution, a political party cannot be banned, which is why the government is using legal means to classify it as a criminal group to try to rein in Golden Dawn. But if the government feels that this is the beginning of the end of the party, it has a tough challenge ahead of it, because Golden Dawn has 18 MPs in Parliament and got almost 7% of the vote in last year's election.